Hey guys, welcome back to Embedded System Programming with the STM32IC. In the previous tutorial, we saw how we wrote this simple program where we're basically flashing an LED with a push button. So when I press the button, the LED flash, I remove the LED stop flashing. But now in this tutorial, I'm going to modify or change a few parameters in this code so that we can achieve or emulate this function here that does the gpio toggle pin so what i'm going to do is because this function change the pin state right you put a delay and it change the pin state that is a function that is doing the flashing because it's changing the pin state and then it goes through a delay and that is when my finger stays on the button that is if the pin 13 is equal to zero now how can we emulate this gpio toggle pin function so basically when I press, the LED comes on. I remove my finger, the LED stay on. The only time the LED will go off if I press the blue push button again. So that is basically emulating that toggle pin function. So we will create a latch switch, a switch that uh, keep the state and will only reset when we press it again. So that's a theory behind the, the modification that we're going to do. But now in order to achieve this, we have a few options. I can basically, like I said, start modifying the code or we can create a new project so that we can just save this code here without uh, uh, losing it, right? Or we can just basically copy this whole project and make another project based on it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy those project and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it, but I'm going to rename it number three and I'm going to say push button toggle. Okay. And I'm going to use the same default location. I will just go ahead and say copy. So I'm going to copy the whole project as is right with all the default setting. And I've got a new name here. Now, when I expand this project, you can see that I'm still getting the old name of the project that I copied. So I have to go ahead and rename it to the new name and the debug file. I can basically just delete it because I will get a new one when I compile the code or build for debug. Okay. So now you have your new project already created, which is basically just a copy of the previous one. So you can go ahead and start doing what you need to do in order to make your new project work. So let's just close this one. So this is the main file for our new project. You must just remember to change the date to the date in which the project was created. Those are just a catch for going that route to create a new project. Okay. So from here, you know what to do. So we want to emulate the toggle, uh, pin function. The configuration will remain the same because we are still going to uh, be toggling the led flashing or turning on the LED that is attached to the GPIO SO that configuration will stay and our button configuration will also remain the same. So this is actually GPIO C configuration. How ahead a file, the main.h will also not change because we are having function prototype and the header file for our board in there. So we come back into the main and we are calling the configuration for GPIO A and GPIO C. Right. Now we need to start doing the work. So this comment here need to change so we can change it to this code will toggle the pin state. So what we need to do here is basically to register or record uh, the button state when we press it. Now to achieve that, we need to set up a variable that can actually register the state. So consider in a football field where you have a line referee who's running up and down with a flag and he's going to raise the flag up when there is an offside situation or whatever happening in the field. And he's going to lower it when he's done raising the flag. So we need to set a flag. So our flag here, we're going to just declare a variable of type integer. So I'm going to just write int flag and then I'm going to set it to be equal to one. So I'm actually basically setting the flag already. I'm initializing it to be equal to one. So the flag have already been raised. So I need to create situation in which something will happen when that flag is raised. And after that, I need to lower the flag. 
Okay, so now that we've got our variable declare flag and we set it to one, so that means the flag have been now raised offside. Okay, so offside. So what are we going to do in that condition? Now remember, we want to toggle the LED with the push button, but we are also making use of this toggle pin because this uh, GPIO toggle pin function is changing. So if let's say when we come here, if statement true, we execute one. So we basically going to toggle this pin. We'll put it high. So the LED will go on. We come out. We come back again. Oh, it was high. We now put it off. We come back. This is why we're putting this delay here. Okay. So the delay is so that we can see that change of state. If we remove the delay, we won't see it. It will be so fast. Okay. I explained that on the previous tutorial. Now, what we're going to do here is very simple. Since we now have got the flag, we're going to change the condition where this if statement execute. Okay. So we know that the blue button is normally pulled up to 5 volt. Okay. So that means it's only the if statement only execute when we press the button. Right. Only when we press the button, then the if statement will execute. So I'm going to change this to one. So if I change this to one, basically I'm changing the condition in which this if statement will execute. So now the if statement will only execute when uh, the, the button is not being pressed. That's strange, right? But now I'm going to add another condition here and that will be the end operator and I'm going to add with a flag as well. So I'm going to say if the flag is also equal to one, that's the only time I want to execute uh, my if statement. So if the GPIO pin is high, right? It's not being pressed, okay? And the flag is equal to one well i want to execute here once i execute here let's say if it was in a one toggle high state the led will be on and then i don't want to use a delay anymore i'm going to take out the delay okay right now at this point if i keep the delay right if i keep the delay and uh, just write this code right now into my microcontroller board Okay, let's just flash this code so that we can see what are we going to see here. What will be the new uh, functionality? Because we just change things now. Okay, now you can see that the LED is flashing. Okay, so the LED is flashing because the condition is true. Basically, we, we almost didn't change anything. We just changed the condition in which the LED is flashing because the previous program was when we press the button, then the LED will flash. Now the LED is flashing when the button is not being pressed. That is because we change here to be equal to one and we put also a flag here. Now, if I change this flag to be equal to zero, this will no longer be true. That means we won't do this. But now this is what is happening. So the condition is true. We toggle, we put it on, we delay, we go back. Okay, condition is still true. We now toggle, put it off, we delay, we come back. On and on and that's how we're getting that. Now, what if we just want to keep it on, okay? And we don't want it to go off. We want it to go off when we press the button. That means we must create a condition in which this if statement can only execute once unless we change a parameter again. And how will that be achieved? Well, my friend, you already raised the flag here. You set the flag to be equal to one. Now you need to lower your flag. Please lower your flag. So we're going to say, well, I'm lowering my flag now. My flag is now going to be equal to zero. If I lower my flag, I'm only going to toggle here once. So if it was on, I'll toggle it to be off and then I'll get out. And I won't come back again because the flag have been lowered. The only time I'm going to come again to change the state again if the flag is already again set to one. Now, let's flash again in and then see what is going to happen. Debugger, please do your thing. <coughs> okay, successfully done. Now, look what's happening here. It seems like nothing happened, but I can tell you it did execute. 
the reason why it's not flashing it's not on it's not flashing we took out the delay good but the led is not on why because this it's executed very fast and went off because it can no longer be true because we now already lower the flag we did lower our flag this guy here was toggling the state so we don't know unless we put it on a, an oscilloscope and we measure the pin state we can see from which state it was whether it was high or low we don't know so we don't know which state it was it probably turned from high to low very quick we did not even capture it since we now took out the delay we won't notice it and it only did it once and it went out of uh the the the, the, the if statement and it can never come here again because the flag have now been set to zero so this condition will no longer be true right now even if i reset i don't see it okay if i want to see that toggle state i need to put a delay here if i put a delay i'm gonna see a quick flash and then it will go out again now you want to see that let's put the delay back and write the code in again okay done now if i press here nothing is happening right nothing is happening it's executed once and i'm no longer going in there because i'm not resetting the flag to one again because i'm stuck inside the while loop but if i press the reset button reset button means i'm gonna get out of the while loop and start the program from start if i press it you can see the led just came on and then off again that means i'm executing this toggle here only once so i'm if i was uh changing from on to off or on off to on i'm doing it very fast but the help of the delay i can see it now comes an important point if we want if this led was in an on state it stays at on state and we can only change the state when we press the button again so that we can set the flag again because we need a flag to be set again so we can come in again remember this is just toggling once and it got out so if it did toggle from off to on we want to go back and toggle it from off to on or from on to on to off whatever the case may be with another flag now to achieve that i'm going to add another if else here or else if for that matter and i'm going to copy this code here because i'm still reading from gpio pin c on that is my button there and i'm going to now change this to zero because already uh at one the button is not being pressed so now if the button is pressed it's going to read zero so what am i going to do when it reads zero well i'm going to set my flag when it read zero so i will just copy the flag and then i'm going to change it to a value of one now now if i compile and run this program what is going to happen is when i press the blue button i'm going to reset the flag to one okay i'm setting it to one and that will mean i'm going to now render this if statement valid again and it will execute once again so if it was in an on state it will put it off and then it will come out okay because the and and then it will now change the flag again to uh zero then it won't execute again it will wait again for the flag to be set and i'm the one who's setting the flag i've got the power to set that flag and i'm setting that flag with the push button okay so i'm going to remove this delay here and i'm going to write this new piece of code into the program okay now what are we getting here well the led is on why is the led on well because remember the gpio toggle pin did toggle from off to on and then it left it on really it left the led on now the flag is set to zero it's not executing it's just toggle it and left it there now if we press the button we're going to set the flag to one and what will happen when we set the flag to one we're going to come back again 
and it will now change it from 1 to 0 because right now it's on 1. If I press the button, it will now change it from 1 to 0 and it will switch off the LED. So let's try it. Here we go. So the LED have been switched off. It switched the LED off and it exit. Nothing is happening. It just leave the LED like that. Unlike on the previous code when we had it, we just press and then it's just flashing, flashing because we are just in there. We, 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 uh, and it, we also test the one where we didn't have to press the button, but the button stay on the high and then it's still flashing because we just inside there toggling the button the whole time. Now you can see that we have successfully create a latch button. Basically a variable flag that can remember the, the button state. That it's, it's like we created a fake one just by playing tricks and using the GPIO toggle pin state. So now you can see it's off. Why is it off? Because it did change it from on to off. And now it's waiting for the new flag to be set because the flag is now at zero. It's waiting for me to set the flag. If I press the, bat the, the button again, I'm setting the flag to one and then it will come back and change it to from the state of off that it is now to an on state. You want to see that? Boom. It changed the state again. So this is how this code is operating. Very simple, but you have to be strategic to understand and, uh, uh, and implement this type of code. So that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and give the tutorial a thumbs up and stay tuned for more uh, STM32 programming tutorial like this. Until next time, cheers.